Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The topic of discussion is metallic solids. These are the solids which have a metallic bond in them. For example, iron, copper, tin, aluminium, gold, etc. They are all metallic crystals. And it is believed that they all have a metallic bonds in them. Now, in order to explain the properties of the metallic solid, various theories about the bonding have been proposed. So, we will be discussing some of these theories that elaborate the presence of the metallic bond in the metallic solids. First of all, let's discuss the electron gas theory. Electron gas theory was proposed by Drude and it was extended by Lorentz in the year 1923. Each atom in a metal crystal loses its valence electron. When metal atom valence electron lose kar jata hai, to valence electron ka ek pool create ho jata hai, just like this. These valence electrons are present in the interstitial spaces. Jo positively charged metal ions reh gai, they are believed to be held together by the electron pool or the electron gas created. Yani metal atom mein se valence electron lose hone ke baad, electron ka ek pool create ho gaya. Isi liye is theory ko electron Pool theory bhi kaha ja sakta hai. These valence electrons are now present in the interstitial spaces. The positively charged ions occupy definite positions at a measurable distance from each other in the crystal lattice. Chapke jo valence electron free ho gaye, they are not attached to any individual ions or pair of ions. Rather, they belong to the whole crystal. Ye valence electron move kar sakte hain from one part of the crystal to the other. According to the electron gas theory, the force which binds a metal cation to the number of the electrons within its sphere of influence, this force is called a metallic bond. This was the electron gas theory or electron pool theory explaining the metallic bond which is just a force which is binding the metal cation with the number of electrons which are present around it. Moving on to another theory to explain the metallic bonds which is the valence bond theory. Valence bond theory was proposed by Al Pauling. Al Pauling tried to explain the metallic bond. And he used the valence bond theory to do that. We know that according to valence bond theory, atomic orbitals overlap. Al Pauling ka kehna ye tha, ke metallic bond can be treated as a covalent bond. Hame pata hai, ke covalent bond mein jo electrons hai, that are localized. Lekin Al Pauling ka kehna ye tha, ke in the structure of the metal, these covalent bonds have delocalized electrons. So these delocalized electrons which can also be called as the mobile electrons. These are responsible for the conduction in metals. This was proposed by L. Pauling in the valence bond theory. Moving on to the band theory of metals which is also called the molecular orbital theory or the band theory of metals. According to the band theory Orbitals overlap to form energy bands, the inner electrons. Inner electrons, jinko hum core electrons bhi keh sakte hain. According to the band theory, inner electrons banate hain valence band. Jabke outer electrons, outer electrons, jinko hum valence electrons bhi kehte hain. They form the conduction band. 
वैलेंस बैंड और कंडक्शन बैंड के दरमियान जो गैप मौजूद है दैट इज कॉल्ड द फॉरबिडन एनर्जी गैप दिस एनर्जी गैप बिटवीन द टू बैंड डिटर्मिन द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द मेटालिक सॉलिड लुक एट दिस we can see the valence band and conduction band formation in the case of insulators semiconductors and conductors here our concern is with the conductors yani metals hum baat kar rahe hain metals mein aur hame pata hai that metals are conductors now how we can explain this conduction by band theory of metals we can see the conduction band and the valence band इनर इलेक्ट्रॉन बना रहे हैं वैलेंस बैंड और आउटर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स यानी वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन बना रहे हैं कंडक्शन बैंड इन दोनों बैंड्स के दरमियान जो एनर्जी गैप है इसको हमने नाम दे दिया फॉरबिडन एनर्जी गैप दिस इज कॉल्ड एज फॉरबिडन एनर्जी गैप एक्चुअली दिस एनर्जी गैप determines the properties of the metallic solids agar ye gap bahut zyada hai then it will be an insulator agar kam hai that is a semiconductor and if there is an overlap we can say that if the conduction bands are not full the electrons have enough energy that they can jump into the higher level and hence they can show conductance of electricity as we can see in the metals there is an overlap which can show the conductance in the case of metals now after discussing the metallic solids and the theories that explain the metallic bonds let's discuss some of the properties of metallic solids first of all electrical conductivity a very important property of metals we know that metals are very good conductors of electricity but how this conductance take place look at this figure when electric field is applied between the two ends of the metal then the mobile electrons begin to move towards the positive pole hum dekh sakte hain is figure mein bhi that after the connection with an electric supply the electrons can be seen to move towards the positive plate aur jab ye aage move kar rahe hain to naye electrons from this negative plate new electrons from this negative plate take their place and in this way electrical conductivity of metals take place अब यहाँ पे एक इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है दैट इज इफ वी इंक्रीज द टेम्परेचर इफ यू इंक्रीज द टेम्परेचर व्हाट इज द इफेक्ट ऑन द इलेक्ट्रिकल कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ मेटल नाउ द आंसर इज दैट इंक्रीज इन द टेम्परेचर कॉजेस डिक्रीज इन द कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ मेटल द रीजन बिहाइंड दिस इज जब टेम्परेचर इंक्रीज होता है वी नो दैट हीट इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी इंक्रीज इन टेम्परेचर इंक्रीज इज द कानाटिक एनर्जी Now, जब टेम्परेचर बढ़ेगा पॉजिटिव मेटल आइंस बिगेन्स टू ऑक्सीट दे आर ऑक्सीटिंग अबाउट देयर मेन पोजिशन दीज आर द पॉजिटिव मेटल आइंस विच बिगेन्स टू ऑक्सीट मीन्स दे शो अ टू एंड फ्रो मोशन अबाउट देयर मेन पोजिशन अब इनकी ऑक्सीलेशन की वजह से मूवमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इज हिंडर्ड यानी द ऑक्सीलेशन ऑफ द पॉजिटिव मेटल आइंस about their mean position creates hindrance important word in the path of the moving electrons because of this hindrance the electrical conductivity of the metals decreases with the increase in temperature or we can say that resistance has increased conductance has decreased because of increase in temperature moving on to another property that is thermal conductivity अगर हम एक पीस ऑफ मेटल को हीट करें और उसको एक एंड से पकड़े रखें आफ्टर सम टाइम इट विल बी हॉट थ्रू आउट द स्ट्रक्चर इट मीन्स द पीस ऑफ मेटल विच वॉज हीटेड एट वन एंड इट वॉज मेड हॉट थ्रू आउट हाउ एक्चुअली द मोबाइल इलेक्ट्रॉन एट वन एंड एब्सॉर्ब हीट एनर्जी एंड दे मूव वेरी रैपिडली इनके इस मूवमेंट में कुलिजन इन्वॉल्व है विद द एडजेसन इलेक्ट्रॉन और जैसे जैसे ये कोलाइट करते जाते हैं दे ट्रांसफर देयर एनर्जी टू द नेक्स्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन सो दे एब्सॉर्ब एनर्जी एंड मूव वेरी रैपिडली थ्रू आउट द मेटल लैटिस टूवर्ड्स द कूलर एंड एंड ऑल दिस प्रोसेस इन्वॉल्व कोलेजन विद द एडजेसन इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड ट्रांसफर देयर एनर्जी टू दैम एंड इन दिस वे द मेटल्स आर 
good thermal conductors as well because of the electrons which are moving and transferring heat one to the another moving to the third property that is luster or we can also call it reflectivity jab bhi ek metal ko cut kiya jaye it shows luster or we can say that it have a shiny appearance or a shiny surface actually hota kya hai when light energy falls on the surface of the metal hame pata hai ki light ek form of energy hai jab ye incident light मोबाइल इलेक्ट्रॉन से कोलाइट करती है दीज मोबाइल इलेक्ट्रॉन आर एक्साइटेड एक्साइटेड मीन्स दे मूव फ्रॉम दे ग्राउंड स्टेट टू द एक्साइटेड स्टेट आफ्टर एब्जॉर्बिंग द एनर्जी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ लाइट नो वेन दीज एक्साइटेड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स कम बैक मीन्स डी एक्साइटेशन डी एक्साइटेशन का मतलब है The electrons are returning from the higher energy level to the lower energy level. जब भी डी एक्साइटेशन होगी they give off some energy. And this energy is emitted in the form of light. So this light appears to be reflected from the surface of the metal, which gives a shiny look. Moving to the another property that is ductility and malleability. We all know that metals are ductile and malleable. This का मतलब है they can be drawn into sheets or wires. The reason behind it is the structure of the metal changes without fracturing. जब stress apply किया जाता है on the metal surface, the layers move, but they do not show any internal change and the sea of electron adjusts position rapidly and the crystal lattice is restored which means wo dobara usi shape mein wapas aa jata hai without fracturing and in this way metals are ductile and malleable and they can be drawn into sheets or cut into wires because of this property of ductility and malleability